Welcome back. In this video, we're going to introduce piecewise functions. A piecewise function is a function defined by two or more equations over a specified domain. In a previous video, I had mentioned implied or implicit domains, but now we're going to have a specific domain. Okay, so here's an example of a piecewise function. We have two linear equations, 3x minus 4, but this equation only applies to the x's that are less than 0. The other piece of the function is 3x plus 1 for x's that are greater than or equal to 0. So we're going to evaluate this function when x equals negative 2, 0, and 2. Well, for f of negative 2, for our input of negative 2, if we want x is less than 0, we have to use the top function, the 3x minus 4. So 3 times negative 2 minus 4, we put that in our function or into our equation, or our function, and we get negative 10. For 0, we have to use the 3x plus 1 function. So f of 0 is 3 times 0 plus 1, or we get 1. And then for 2, for an input of 2, since 2 is greater than or equal to 0 again, we have to use the bottom function. So f of 2 is 3 times 2 plus 1, and we get an output of 7. So we can also do this on the graphing calculator. And on the graphing calculator, it's going to look something like this. This is a screenshot from the completed uh, graphing calculator. So if I pull up my graphing calculator, I can see here I've got my functions in, 3x minus 4 and 3x plus 1. So that division symbol you saw is, is divided by and then do your parentheses, and we want for the x's that are less than 0, so x. And here's the sneaky part. We've got to find the less than symbol. So we go to second, math, and we have our inequality symbols, and we're going to do x is less than 0, so that's 5, and put in our 0, close our parentheses. And then we'll do the same thing for the other function the 3x plus 1, and do your division symbol. So divided by, parentheses, and now we want x's that are greater than or equal to 0. So second, math, greater than or equal to is the fourth one there. Press 4, and close my parentheses. Now this is going to be neat because I've got a blue and a red, so my two equations should show up on my graph as a blue line and a red line. And sure enough, so this is our function for the x's that are less than 0. And these are the, the red is the function that was greater than or equal to 0. So that's how you will input that into your graphing calculator. So finally, um, our library of parent functions, uh, the absolute value function could also be looked at as a piecewise function. Okay, for x's greater than or equal to zero, okay, that is just the equation y equals x, and it's also for less than zero, it's the equation of y equals negative x. Okay, and then the domain and range are stated here with our intercepts. And we'll work with absolute value functions as well. We'll start moving them around and, and doing some different things with those. But this is the basic uh, introductory absolute value graph uh, of a function. So that concludes our introduction to piecewise functions. And I will see you in class.